Man, I don't know if to tell you guys, but this one about to go crazy. <laughs> <laughs> the time has come. guys welcome back man we got another special unboxing it's your boy magnifico ca and this time we're going to be covering my favorite character madara uchiha and man i don't know if some of y'all caught i actually have a little figurine of him in, in that top corner so you know this is a special character to me he represents so much i know he's obviously the antagonist of the series but in terms of determination unfathomable will and just never quitting nobody who needs more of me. So I can't wait to share, share this piece with you. This is actually a collaboration between Bernie Wynn and Venta Studios. And this is probably the best rendition of Madara I've ever seen. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into it. All right, guys. So first up here, you'll see we have this awesome box. Such detail showcasing Madara with the blue flames coming off his shoulder from the Susano. And over the top as we continue on, you see him controlling the Nine Tails in his battle against Hashirama. This is just beautiful. I love this so much. Next up, I just have to share with you guys, man, just awesome level of detail each studio put into bringing this to life. They included in here the instructions for assembly, which is a very nice touch. By the way, this was the first time I was able to get the statue directly from the distributor and not third party. So you're just going to see an extra level of care and presentation given to this unboxing. And this is actually the concept art of the piece they created. Beautifully, beautifully done, man. These are all exciting mementos I can't wait to add to my collection. No one can reach me, or go against me. Alright, so this is the little envelope they gave us here. Let's open it up and take a peek and see what we have. Alright, so this again is a postcard of concept art. This is awesome. Further add into that level of authenticity. But let's go ahead and open up the box as well and see what we have. This is definitely a great keepsake. All right, guys, look at this. So these are the first couple of pieces here. We actually got two war fans because there's actually going to be two dynamic poses that we'll be able to choose from. But let's go ahead and dive into those. So the first thing we have up here is the bus. This is where you'll be able to display the other Uchiha head that you don't want to use. Got the Uchiha logo on the back. We also see the face of Hashirama, where we know that Kabuto took advantage of the connection between the Senju and the Uchiha to amplify Madara's abilities. And you also have his eternal manga cue at the bottom here for the logo. And not to cut to the chase, as always, it's your choice how you want to display your statues, but in this case, case I want to use the reanimated face of Madara with this bus because it's more appropriate with Hashirama cells that were implanted in his chest so this is what that looks like. This is a, a 1-6 scale by the way too guys versus the Sasuke one in the back. You see that one's a little bigger because the previous statue we did was 1-4 so you can get an idea of the difference in scale. All right guys bringing the next stuff to the side here. This is our base with the Susano around it and we got of course that dynamic pose of Madara. Let's go ahead and piece it together. All right guys so next up here we do have the base. Man this thing has some weight to it. It's probably about a good 25 pounds. It is beautifully sculpted but you'll see unfortunately on the side here we did have the break so back to that epoxy glue. Of course the back here we'll see the logo 
the strongest battle, Uchiha Maga. And down here it says it takes batteries, so let's open that up and see what type. So we got three AAA batteries. I'm gonna use the same solution we did with the statue of Sasuke. Oh no, I love it, man. Again, never be discouraged about minor breaks. These are things that are easy to fix. I know it can be a pain, but these are statues that are sculpted with a lot of detail and care, and they're coming from a very, very long ways away. So let's take everything in stride, and let's go ahead and get to the next part. This is another nice addition that the studio included. This is a, a little collector's medallion. I know I can't quite bring it into focus. You can see it a little bit there. It says Ventus at the top. We got Uchiha Madara at the bottom, and then if you flip it over here, you can see it has his EMS, as well as if you can make that out a little bit, you can see which edition I got. This is number 71 of 388 made in the world. So that's how limited this piece is, man. I'm glad to have it in my collection. Again, I think it's the best version of any statue we've seen of my favorite character. Oh, man, all right, guys, so... I wanted to get this all done in one video for you, but those repairs were a little bit more challenging than I care to admit. So we're gonna break this up. There's some techniques I wanna to use to better make sure everything comes out very nice and it'd be better just to share that with you in a part two. I also have the next statue that's already here. So the schedule was fully packed and I don't wanna leave you guys hanging for too long. So man, thanks again for all the support. Thanks for all the uh, suggestions, ideas. I'm probably gonna be pushing a couple of other statues from different types of animes as well, man. I've, I've got a lot of feedback from you guys and, and I get excited about some of the other content out there too, from One Piece to, uh, we'll see about Chainsaw, man. I don't know if you can really show everything on YouTube, but <laughs> thanks again so much for the support. Stay tuned for part two. I'll be at y'all guys soon. Magnifico CA, I'm out.